to promote Hong Kong's sustainable development, the government is pursuing a manifold approach to develop new land resources. An innovative and practicable way is rock cavern development. The Drainage Services Department, DSD, is proceeding with detailed investigations and design for relocating the shot-in sewage treatment works to caverns. The project will release the existing plant site for redevelopment and other beneficial uses, at the same time enhancing the living environment of the community. The present shot-in sewage treatment works occupies an area of 28 hectares and serves a population of over 600,000 in the Shatin and Maon Shan district. It is the largest secondary sewage treatment works in Hong Kong, as well as a key infrastructural facility safeguarding the water quality of Tolo Harbor and Victoria Harbor. The future cavern sewage treatment works will be located in Noi Po Shan at A Kong Kok next to the present plant. The geology of this location comprises strong granite and is very suitable for the construction of large caverns. The location is also optimal in other important aspects, including environment impact, traffic, and related sewerage modification works. To strive for optimal functional and operation performance of the cavern sewage treatment works, DSD's engineering team is earnestly examining the adoption of advanced technologies and conducting related pilot trials. The future cavern sewage treatment works will be a well-equipped and advanced installation. DSD has completed an environmental impact assessment for the relocation project in accordance with the Environmental Impact Assessment Ordinance and formulated related mitigation measures. Key issues include air quality, odor, noise, water quality, waste, ecology, landscape and visual, potential hazards, cultural heritage, and health impact assessment. The EIA report is expected to be available for public inspection in the first half of 2016. In connection with the EIA, a comprehensive environmental monitoring and audit plan has been drawn up to ensure effective mitigation and control of potential environmental impacts. Daily activities of the public will not be affected. In respect of odor control, the relocation project will bring about significant benefits. Caverns are the best natural barriers to enclose the sewage treatment facilities. In addition, odor sources inside the caverns will be sealed and venting air will be filtered by deodorizers before being discharged through the air vent. The location of the air vent is determined from wind tunnel tests and detailed analysis of the wind speed and direction of the area. With these multiple measures, the future cavern sewage treatment works will not be causing odor impact to the surrounding community. TSD has conducted a comprehensive traffic impact assessment for the relocation project. In order that construction vehicles will not add to the traffic load of Akonkok Street, a temporary haul road will be provided to connect the work site with Maun Shan Road. The arrangement will effectively alleviate the effect of the works on traffic. Advanced blasting technologies and control measures will be adopted for the blasting works for cavern construction. Noise and vibrations will be controlled very effectively. The storage, transportation and use of explosives are governed by the Dangerous Goods Ordinance and subject to stringent control by the Mines Division of Civil Engineering and Development Department CEDD. As a matter of fact, the explosives used in construction works is extremely safe. It requires a detonator for ignition before it can go off. Detonators are also kept and transported separately from the explosives to ensure safety. 
DSD has conducted a thorough assessment of the blasting works. Indeed, most blasting will be carried out at significant depths inside Noipo Shan. The predicted vibrations at nearby buildings are insignificant and much lower than the acceptable level, hence will not affect the structural integrity of buildings. In order for construction to progress efficiently, a temporary magazine will have to be erected. It will be situated at a remote location on Noi Po Shan. The design of the magazine will be pre-approved and licensed by the Mines Division of CEDD. All related operations will be carried out under the close supervision of competent personnel to ensure compliance with statutory requirements and international standards. The temporary magazine will only store a small amount of explosives for a few days' use. It will be removed when blasting works are completed. As part of the Environmental Impact Assessment, DSD has conducted a visual impact assessment for the cavern sewage treatment works. There will mainly be an air vent a few meters in height on Nui Po Shan. Landscaping will be provided to blend in the vent fully with surrounding green environment to avoid visual impact. There are many successful examples of cavern wastewater treatment plants in Nordic countries. Based on our experience, the plant can integrate well in surrounding environment and community. I trust Hong Kong engineering professionals can provide fantastic relocation proposals. Earlier, DSD has conducted the Stages 1 and 2 public engagement. Through such events as roving exhibitions, focus group meetings, public forum, etc., many stakeholders and members of the public have expressed their views and there was general support for the relocation project. Following closely the ensuing detailed investigations and trials, DSD has outlined a plan for the relocation works, including the future plant layout and process logistics. To keep the public abreast of the latest project progress and facilitate further communication, TSD is now conducting the Stage 3 public engagement. We look forward to your active participation to optimize the relocation project in concerted efforts. The relocation project will serve to enhance the living environment of Shati notably. Sustainable development of the community, as well as Hong Kong, counts on your support. <laughs>